Hello dear, welcome. In this video, I have taken up poem on killing a tree written by Giv Patel. It is a simple verse with a great message. First, I shall explain the contents of the poem line by line and then I shall give you all the important points about the poem. So, watch till the end for better understanding. It takes much time to kill a tree. The very first line catches our attention. First, for using the word kill, normally we use the word fell or cut down. Secondly, the poet says that it takes much time to kill a tree. Practically, it takes hardly any time, a little time for felling a tree. Further, the poet says not a simple jab of knife will do it. It's not job, it is jab. Jab means hit hard. And the word knife is normally not used. It is the axe we use for cutting the tree. So, according to the poet, cutting down a tree may be very easy, but killing a tree is a hard task. It has grown, slowly consuming the earth. Consuming the earth means taking the nutrients. From the soil, growth of a tree is a very slow process. The roots of the tree suck the nutrients from the soil and the tree keeps growing, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust. Crust is the upper layer of the earth. A seed becomes a sprout, absorbs the nutrients and grows taller and taller. Feeding upon means consuming. Absorbing years of sunlight, air, water. While growing, a tree not only takes the nutrients from the soil, but also sunlight, air and water. These all show that the process of growing a tree is a complex process and it takes a very long time for a tree to come to maturity. And out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves, the hard and rough outer surface of a bark of a tree is called as leprous hide. Leaves are grown in the form of buds. So, hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. It means you can't kill a tree just by hacking it or cutting and chopping it. Not so much pain will do it. It means the small pain what we give by hacking or chopping will not kill a tree. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature bows. When we hack the tree, it is wounded, it bleeds, but it gets healed up soon and new buds come up and soon it becomes a miniature bow. Now, here is the answer for the question, why is it not easy to kill a tree? A tree doesn't die merely by cutting it. It regenerates. No, it means by merely cutting out the bark, we cannot kill a tree. The root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. Anchoring earth means the earth has gripped the roots very tightly. We have to pull out the tree right from the roots. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave. The phrase earth cave suggests the idea that the roots have gone deep into the earth. So, in order to pull out the roots, we need to tie the rope and pull it with all might. And the strength of the tree exposed. When we pull the roots, we come to know how strong is the grip. The source, white and wet, the most sensitive, hidden for years inside the earth. The source, wet and white, means the bunch of roots. Roots are very soft. 
then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air after pulling out the roots from the earth we have to expose them to the vagaries of hot sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done when the soft roots are exposed to the hot sun they become brown and they become very hard lastly we have to break them into pieces and then it is done means it is finished that means now the tree is literally dead it cannot sprout again it loses the capacity of regeneration when its roots are destroyed i hope now you have realized why the poet stated in the beginning of the poem that it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of knife will do it now let us know more about this poem the first theme of this poem is creating or building is a difficult task and it takes a lot of time patience and energy to build or create something whereas destroying is very easy so whenever someone wants to destroy something he has to think a lot before destroying something second theme is creating is godly or humane while destroying is devilish the third theme is it is not easy for any person to give up what he has cultivated for a long time especially bad habits it is very difficult to root out all those evil habits which have been cultivated for a long time so it is wise not to cultivate such bad habits message given to us by the poet nature nurtures a plant by providing air water sunshine and nutrients from the soil it cares and protects the tree from being blown away by the force of wind and it takes a very long time for a plant to become a tree by telling all these things the poet wants to sensitize the readers so that they think many times before cutting down or felling a tree another important point about this poem is the use of words kill instead of fell and a knife instead of axe this also is to sensitize the readers the poet equates the life of a tree with that of a human being it is to say that life of a tree is as important as life of an individual or a human being as killing a human being is a crime a cognizable offense felling of a tree should also be treated as a crime here is a link for explanation in kannada